Hey, hey, thank you for watching my channel. I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins, helping you along your twin flame journey. If this is your first time watching, thank you for being here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, please give me a thumbs up for this video, as well as a subscribe. When you subscribe to this channel, it puts your energy in the decks, and who knows, next time you come by to see a video, you may hear your very own story in these cards. Um, with that, thank you, Tribe, for all of your likes and all of your subscribes, all of your shares and your comments. I appreciate the way you love on each other in the comment section and the way you share your story. And it's without judgment or condemnation. We just want to hear your story and encourage you, all right? So thank you so much for the way you guys handle that environment. Also, thank you for the way you love uh, and support me on this platform. I appreciate you guys, and I, I cannot imagine doing this journey without you. Finally, if you like the way I read these cards and the messages flowing from my belly by, by the Spirit, if you like the way they come out of me, then you can have your very own personal reading with me. I call them my love and light sessions. I book those through Calendly. The description box is below. There's three different options. Pick one. Let's get together. It's going to be like two old friends chatting over tarot. This is the tea. I'm using the Kipper deck. I'm using the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle card deck. I'm using Romance Angels, and I may use a little bit of the Rider Waite Tarot. No, maybe. Maybe so. I use a lot of stuff. I don't know why I felt the need to tell y'all what cards I'm using. <laughs> I never really did that before, did I? Sometimes. Not all the time. I see a story. I'm going to do 10 cards. Let's do this in 10 cards, shall we? Oh, first card wants to come out. Thoughts. Somebody's mind is full of you. Thinking of you. <laughs> Dreaming of you, even. Somebody's having some daydreams. Somebody's having some deep introspection. Somebody's getting a revelation, a clue, some knowledge. Could be about you, Divine Feminine. Card number 16 may mean something to you. One plus six is seven. We still got a few days left in this month to see what's up. Somebody might want to be painting, paint a picture of you, a portrait of you. And you might have been dating a painter. Or your Divine Masculine could be an artist. And he's got a sketch of you. Maybe crayon, maybe pencil. I don't know. <laughs> Marker, I don't know. Charcoal, I don't know. <laughs> it could be a griller. I don't know. I just said charcoal, and all of a sudden I saw a blazing grill with some big old steaks on them. Mm -hmm. If you're vegan, um, forgive me. I'm just saying. It's all right. Some people still are eating meat. Sudden wealth. Card number 11. Oh, my. This card speaks of either money coming in. Somebody might be, uh, somebody hit the jackpot. This divine masculine or this person might think they hit the jackpot with you, divine feminine, a person watching. They also might be coming into some money real, real soon here. They might have already come into some money around about the first week and a half of July, maybe. A lot of sevens. We just had a seven we put down with his thoughts. And now we got the number 11, which is a karmic number as well. As y'all know what we think about 11s, right? The twins. But with those sevens, somebody might be having triplets. <laughs> you might be getting pregnant this month. A lot of um, fertility and babies are expected, too. Um, to come. Oh, it fell on the floor. Hold on, y'all. Oh, <laughs> great fortune. It's going to be in reverse, but it's because that's the way I picked it up. So listen. So now we have two cards about money. There's some money coming in. He's probably thinking about how he's going to spend it on you, right? <laughs> or her. <laughs> Every time I turn around. The mature woman, okay, here, here she is again. There's a number six. <laughs> Meaning, balance, and harmony. Oh, my. Service to others. Somebody might be obligated to a mother or maybe a baby mama. Baby mama. This might be a karmic energy here in a person, right? Because it's a relationship. Maybe a long-term relationship. Maybe these two have known each other for a long time. Maybe they're, they, are, they thought they would grow old together. Or the mature woman could be none of those. Maybe you, divine feminine or person watching, has matured in your thinking. Maybe you're growing up a little bit. Maybe you're becoming more balanced. Maybe you're becoming, uh, you, you're gaining emotional depth. Maybe you have some financial stability with um, this number six out here. Your material needs are being met. In other words, you done grown up a little bit. Maybe, you know what I mean? You might be handling yourself, handling your home. Because this lady looks like she's uh, well-to-do, right? She's not missing any meals, nor is she missing any clothing or fresh flowers at her home. You might be a, a a gardener. You might be a florist. You might, heck, you might just know how to do really awesome flower arrangements, right? You might be an event planner too. Anyway, anyway, this mature woman might have something to do with this money and these thoughts. All right. Okay, definitely. So 
So, yeah, somebody's in charge. <laughs> somebody's bound to a situation. Like I said, it could be any, a karmic could be a parent, an elderly parent, a sick parent. A karmic could be a child, um, a step, a step children, half children, whatever, or whatever y'all want to call it, half step. I just call them brothers and sisters. I don't do all that labeling. But my point is, somebody might be bound to this mature woman for various reasons. Not sure why. Or they could be, um, like I said, have known them for a long time. You know what I mean? It's a, and there's a bond there. They might they might feel trapped. This mature woman could be very domineering, maybe. Mm -hmm. Could be very bossy. Could be be the shot caller. You know, right? The one to call the dictator, like a little dictatorial, little territorial, possessive, obsessive energy there, right? Either way, somebody feels um very trapped by the situation, and like that other video, and their only friend is a rat, <laughs> right? Or I don't think the rat friend is revisiting us now, but whatever it is, and somebody could just feel really, really broken due to the relationship with this mature woman. Let's get some more of the tea. <sighs> problem with mouse oh that looks like a couple to me so now we know it's not mommy dearest put this down now we know it's not mommy dearest we know it's now a couple and somebody th this mature man or this mature woman or both one or both of them feels trapped or bound to a situation got a five and a six out here that's an 11 <laughs> heck this could be you and your twin Y'all might have been going at this for a long time, off and on, in and out. And you guys try as you might to get away, you weren't able to, right? Not able to. Not able to break this. 11 years. So two, look at the look, 29. 2 plus 9 is 11. But yeah, you both might be feeling bound to a situation, bound to each other. And if not that, like I said, I got a many, many messages with the tea. This is a this is a lot of herb, herbal teas. This is this is a mix, right? This is one of those boxes that has like four or five flavors, four or five stories going on at the same time. Okay, all right. But anyway, these are the messages. These are the messages. Get in where you fit in. But this um, mature man definitely feels bound to this mature woman. It's a couple, like I said. But we else do we have? Oh, official person. It's definitely a marriage. Definitely marriage, definitely something on paper. It could be a living situation, but it, what, either way, everybody everybody recognizes this as a real relationship. Everybody recognizes who the mature woman is with the mature man and vice versa. It's almost like the city says, you know, you know, they're together or everybody knows they're together. Look at that two and two is four. Right. Talking about solid foundations. Then I say solid. Right. So, yeah. And also. One or both of them could be narcissist, narcissistic. They could be dealing with somebody who thinks it's all about them. Could it be the ma that mature woman? Feels like somebody's entitled. Somebody feels like when I when I walk in the room, you better stand up. Somebody feels like if I if I walk in the room, you better say hold on to whoever you're talking to. Or some this person might say you need to get off the phone when I come in. I don't know who that's for, but I, I sure hear that very. You know when hey when I come home, you need to get off the phone. You need to listen to me. When I got the phone, everything stopped. Like, this person really feels like when they show up, everything must stop. Everybody must acknowledge their presence. This is definitely a, a narcissist right here. And they, they, they're very sharp with their words. And they don't play. See that sword on that guy's hip? The official person wields their sword. Look his hand, look his hand ready. Ready. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next card. Boom. Lots of concern going, probably from this mature mature man, not the same guy, but still. Been thinking about this, very, very concerned about this. Three and three plus three is six. Where's our other six? Very concerned. <laughs> There's our other six right there about this mature woman. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? They better do the right thing because that because they're bound to a situation. They better do the right thing. And maybe if they don't do the right thing, they might be looking at some jail time. Somebody might be looking at jail time. Somebody might be in jail because of the mature woman. I don't know. Did your mama put you in jail? Did mama say, go turn yourself in. Just turn yourself in. Save yourself from aggravation. I don't know. But anyway, this mature man is feeling bound. This mature woman is feeling bound. They're in the same jail. <laughs> this couple, they're they're in the same jail. Both both might be tired of each other, but there's a lot of concern about it because whatever it is, it's official. It means something to some people. I don't know, maybe the children, maybe the community. Maybe these people mean something to the community. Mm-hmm. 
And then the other message is, if this is your twin flame and y'all been at this for a long time, they're concerned because they know that you are, you're the real person. It's you. You you are the realness. They're just not discovering that. You are the real jackpot, right? The great fortune is with you. But they might be, again, bound by a situation due to obligation, due to, due to families, due to children, due to community standing, due to businesses, due to, due to life. Boom. But there is an expectation. There is an expectation of what? Of what? Huh? Somebody's wearing a mask. And somebody's plotting and scheming something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we leave it right there. Ten. This is the tenth card. Yep. This mature man, look at what's touching. This mature man, this mature woman, what they're bound by is a lie. It might be a lie keeping them together. Something they're hiding. Something's being hidden. It's a lie that's keeping them together. It might have something to do with money. <laughs> might be a way they, they get money, make money. It's keeping them together. It's binding them. They're, they're imprisoned by it. We've got the false person out here with the expectation card. Let me start clarifying. What time is it? 11, okay. 11 minutes in. Let's see. So far, we got several stories, but I'm seeing one. Let me see. Let me see what I see. Ooh, why is the expectation there? What is the... Ooh, too many fell out. What is the expectation? Huh. <laughs> right. Somebody keeps on playing the old same line. Somebody keeps on going on the same roller coaster. This thing's been going on and on. The cassette tape. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Somebody just keeps on making up, breaking up, staying together because of the money. But he's thinking about somebody else. <laughs> he knows he is bound. He's thinking about what he... Give me one on the official person. Soulmates, right. He's thinking about that soulmate connection that he feels with you. Yeah, that's the official... This, this soul contract that was made in past lives. He's thinking about that, but he's bound to this. Because there's some kind of lie. Some, they, they one or both. That mature man, that mature woman might be lying to each other. Playing games, cat and mouse games. Trying to act like both of them or one of them are happy in the connection. Because they're, tra they're, they're loving the money. They're, the love of money. The love for the love of money. <laughs> for, for the love of money. <laughs> yeah, for the love of money. Put one on the imprisonment card. Yep. Keep a positive mindset, the abundance, right? It's that money. It's that money. It's that money. Manifest exactly what you want. I'm not going to take the words from that. It's that the abundance card. That's the only way I could clarify. It's money. Money, money, because money equals abundance. So, yeah, the love of money is what's keeping them. It, and could be the mature man is trying to keep a positive mindset to manifest exactly what he wants because you do have the two suddenly cards. You do have success and you have the suddenly. Sudden success. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about how to make this work, right? Sudden success, right? With this, with this woman that's in his head, all up in his head. And that's the only place he can keep it is in his head. Because he better not act any differently around this one right here. He better not, neither one of them better act differently at all. Because it could affect the money. For the love of money. Somebody's just sticking around, staying around. All the while knowing they have a soulmate contract. They have a soul connection. They have a partnership, an agreement they already made in past lives to be in union and partnership with someone. Let's put one on thoughts. What's he thinking with someone that what? Put one on his thoughts. Or put two on his thoughts. Boom. That's all he's thinking about. Twin flames. <laughs> And breaking up, there's a, you guys aren't together, you're separate, yin and yang, union, duality, complementing, complementing, complementing one another, coupling, I mean. But this is what he's thinking about, giving this, this mature woman the axe, giving that whole relationship the axe to stop the separation, the, the abandonment issues, the silent treatment. You're not, he can't talk, you guys aren't talking, but he knows who you are. Look, 
He knows who you are, Divine Feminine. But for the love of a dollar, <laughs> this mature man, mature woman, great fortune, imprisonment, they're bound for the love of money. Masculine better get a clue. He better get a clue. Put one on the mature man. Why is this, what do you want to say about this mature man? Yeah, there he is, missing you, looking at your photos. If he's got a picture of you, he sure is looking at it. Remembering the nostalgia, remembering the good times. Missing you, wanting to make new memories. Looking at your, looking at your pictures, huh? But you better not show it. <laughs> Nobody's showing it. Both of them have a poker face. Both of them are deceiving themselves and wearing a mask for the love of money. This mature woman, what's she thinking about? Put one on the mature woman. Wonder if she's thinking about somebody too. And they're just sitting here wasting people's time, wasting your energy, your life's blood, divine feminine. Put one on the mature woman. What's on her mind? What's on her mind? Two cards. Huh. Yeah. Many options and decisions, yeah. Keys on a ring. She probably, yeah. She's probably trying to. I told you who held the who held the control. Keeping control. Why? And look at that. I got. I have your heart, and that's where the keys are. You want to unchain? There it is. You locked. Your heart is locked to mine. Look at that picture. That's what she's thinking. She's restraining, controlling the situation and your person, the divine masculine. She's holding the keys to that heart right there. Only she can unleash that. Or so she thinks, or uh, free that, or so she thinks, or so she thinks, or so she thinks, or so she thinks. Put one on the false person. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Did I make the, oops, sorry. Hmm. Yeah. Thinking about the future, the false person. I told you they're all wearing masks. The divine masculine is wearing a mask because his separation is killing him to be away from you. He misses you. He's thinking about you. He's yearning for you. You know, the separation is killing him. Mm -hmm. So he's wearing a mask, walking around like everything is fine. False person. Give me one more card. What's the bottom of the deck? Oh, a gift. Okay. Okay, looks like, okay, come on, come on, talk to us. What are you going to do? What's after that? Yeah, despair. I bet you are upset. Put one on the gift. Let's see what this gift is. Because I tell you, this mature woman thinks she's holding all the keys. Right now, she might be. <clears throat> what do we have? Boom. <laughs> yep, you, like I said, have faith. Love is coming. There's going to be a surprise meeting or invitation. Cupid's arrow. Here's the gift. I'll give you my heart, and I'll give you my heart, and I will always be true to you, and I will love you forever. If I could just make love to you, make love to you. <laughs> yes, Babyface and Tony Braxton, give you my heart, always a good one. Um, okay. I think that's all the messages. So, yeah, I just wanted to make sure this ended well, y'all, to give y'all some good teas. I didn't want to leave you on a note like, you know, she's holding the keys and that's it. No way. Not at all. You know why? Because there is a gift. Where'd the gift card go? I just had it. Oh, there is a gift. And it's Cupid's arrow. He's going to get a clue. He's going to get a clue and he's coming. But they, they, they were being held back, if you didn't know, by money. For the love of money, this mask is probably cured of his greed. Finally, finally was holding on for the love of money. Both of them. Oh, that's too many. Give me one, please. Maybe one or two. Let's pull from two oracles, you guys. This one. <laughs> you deserve love. You are lovable. So if you were wondering if you weren't good enough or something was wrong with you or your, your self-esteem was taking a hit because you did not understand what was taking your DM so long, dragging his feet, staying over there where you know there was no love, but he was loving after that money or only focused on money and not really you, well, guess what? You deserve love. You are lovable and it's coming in. All right? Trust. That's the bottom of the deck. This situation is calling for you to have faith. That's all you need. Have faith. Give me a lover's oracle. Give me the masculine's heart. 
for this person watching, the message for the person watching, from the person that they are watching for, from the person that they are watching for. Give me a message. Woo! Wow. Bell on the floor. I don't know what's up with all these cards. Bell on the floor. I guess spirits want me to keep doing back bend. <laughs> Yes, romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Remember that? That's the gift. Look at those cards echoing each other. <laughs> All right, have faith, y'all. Love is coming. Love is coming. All right, thanks for watching. That's the tea. See ya. Bye. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. Um, don't forget to hit the notifications bell. Um, and then you'll know when I put all these new videos up. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye.